Hey everybody, happy Tuesday, December the 28th of 2021. Um, popping in here because this is a little bit of a surprise, but I'm just gonna roll with the punches and make up for it on the back end. Um, basically, if you saw the post, my kitchen sink showed up uh, earlier than I expected and it weighs 400 pounds. So I really didn't have a plan for how Tiffany was gonna get this in uh, the kitchen <laughs> uh, so it was a bit of a scramble but uh, thanks to several people we got it not only in the house um, but it is in the kitchen and not too far from where it's actually going to be mounted i actually pulled it out of the crate so super excited to be able to just look it over and um, hess is letting us know she approves um, anyways, I cannot wait. It is cast iron. That's why it weighs so much. It means hopefully that it will last another century. Um, and now begins the task of measuring and measuring and installing and measuring and all those different things. Um, one of the very first things I did was start to measure the actual sink itself because they did provide some dimensions, but not enough to be able to correlate the countertop height with um, the legs and with the brackets that mount on the back. There are actually four brackets on the back and I'll show those to you another time. Um, but those brackets, they say, are space 16 inches on center. Well, um, two of them are, but the ones in the center are a little bit over 16 inches. So really good reason to measure once it arrives and just um, hope for the best at that point. But. Uh, I really am looking forward to using this sink and I think it's going to be really uh, robust and tough for um, all of the wear and tear that you see um, an old house have to, having to go through. So um, fingers crossed, all of my measurements are correct and everything works out. A little perturbed at them because they actually, the brackets themselves are in a wooden box um, that is nailed underneath the sink. So I actually have to move the 400 pound sink to get to the brackets where I can measure those and make sure that those are correct. That's not ideal. Um, but one pleasant surprise, the box they sent could have been out of plywood, could have been out of um, just really cheap wood. That's actually some really beautiful cabinetry plywood. So um, I'm gonna capitalize on that. We're gonna save that scrap. Um, can't wait to see what I make out of that. But anyways, uh, so this is what I did for a good portion of the day. And I do want to go ahead and apologize if you hear all of the jackhammering and everything. Um, if you didn't see the post last night around eight o'clock, the train derailed. Um, and essentially from what we understand, one of the wheels popped off and then it was drug um, underneath the train for most of the length of the town, uh, as far as I know. And it caused damage to basically all of the tracks. So they're actually out here making repairs. Um, just out east of town, there were, from what I understand, six cars um, that actually were derailed. But anyways, that's what the noise is. It actually um, is a kind of an interesting view <laughs> as, as the day has progressed. Um, but this is what I've been doing. So this wall was not here earlier, if you recall. And this uh, structure also has been beefed up again. This is actually what was there and it actually would support the headers. So I'm excited to have all of that back in place um, and nice and solid. Of course, we've also put blocking in. Um, blocking is, it adds a little bit of structural stability for the wall itself, but it also allows you to um, put those fasteners in where they need to be because sometimes you're not gonna hit a stud no matter what you do. Um, so this addresses all of those issues. Um, but bonus, what I've decided to do here is to cover this wall in beadboard. Um, and luckily enough, I actually had enough laying around that I could go ahead and chop it up. So this evening's task is gonna be priming. I'm gonna go and shower and uh, relax a little bit, but I can kind of prime and watch a movie or something um, and get that done so that I'll be ready to go the next day. Um, you do want to go ahead and prime your wood at this point with more modern materials. Uh, anything you can do to make them more water resistant is ideal. Uh, this is pressure treated, by the way. So um, you can tell I really got into it with the chalk lines and everything. I don't always do that, but 
really just kind of sees the opportunity. Again, these are 16 inches on center per the information that they gave me. We've already found out that some of that's not entirely true. Um, but again, I'll hit the blocking so it'll be okay. And then I'm also gonna have beadboard. Um, and so this is gonna be, I think, a pretty robust system. Um, the first blue line is the top of the sink. There will be, of course, a beautiful countertop that goes across. Um, and on the other side of this is a kind of a buffet eating area, um, a little banquette seat. Sorry, not a buffet, but a banquette um, where we're going to actually put some storage and we're all going to hide some plumbing. Um, so this actually should be pretty ideal. I had to really think about the height. Again, I really couldn't build this ahead of time because I needed to figure out what was going on with the actual dimensions of the sink. Um, and the height I was looking for was something that allowed light to come in and still gave you kind of a pleasant view off of the north side of the house, but also provided a little bit of privacy. You're not having to look at the dirty dishes while you're eating, although ideally you are just washing the dishes as you go, but we know how that goes. Um, and I also wanted to be able to see into the room because um, it's very unsettling in architecture to create spaces where people can sneak up behind you. Um, so we want to try and avoid that at all costs if we can. That's just good design. So um, here, somebody of my height, which I'm a little bit over average height, um, should be able to see at least that there's somebody in the room um, so you don't get any of those nasty surprises. But anyways, I am really excited about that. There'll be a countertop added. Here's the top of the sink. So you're just going to get a little peek of that beadboard. Um, it'll probably be mostly caulking at this point. But that's okay. Um, the second blue line is supposedly where the brackets go. Again, I want to get those out of the box and just verify that that's exactly what we want to happen. Um, and then this blue line right here is supposedly where the counter height would be. Um, and I've actually made it a little bit lower. I have shorter people in my family. Um, I'm using universal design. So if somebody were um, in a wheelchair, a scooter, or something like that, this would allow them to have a little bit more access. Unfortunately, the way the sink is made, you can't quite slide your knees up under it, um, but it does at least kind of give you a little bit of a better reach. So anyways, we have that. And then remember, this sink has legs. So the beadboard, while you won't see it up top, will actually be more visible down bottom. Um, and we're not going to have a whole bunch of storage and junk uh, cluttered underneath it. So I'm actually kind of excited about that little peak that you'll see down there. Um, and of course, you can see this floor is going to need some work, um, but that's okay. And I did actually resurrect. So there was a piece of wood here where now you see the two by four going um, horizontally on the floor. And I think that this board actually uh, just slipped over from where I'm standing, the tr transition here. There's actually one on the other side as well. Um, and it's beautiful stained, darker wood. So I'm gonna try and clean it up and salvage what I can of it um, and use that to make my transition between the two floors. Because again, uh, flooring on this side would have been porch and would have been shorter and it's actually running the other direction. So we have to make that transition anyways. Um, other than that, I think that's about it. You guys take care, have a good rest of your day, and we will talk soon.